and Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about mindset just what is in your mind and why you need to be like that if like you know um, we're going to talk about what it takes to build a business online in terms of mindset in terms of you know how do you motivate yourself how do you get going how do you get up in the morning how do you how do you know that things are going to work out what is the thought process you got to go through what are the skills you got to learn we're gonna I'm gonna kind of ramble on too right but we're gonna talk about mindset mindset is all about how you think what you how you react and what you feel as well and that's that it's not instantaneous you can't just do it from one day to the next it takes a while but we're going to talk about a few of those things hopefully we're going to get into some things that'll help you to grow your business to learn how to how to you know do better uh for your courses for your online content for your business in general all right we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so first let's cover what is mindset you might be like I've heard that all over the place I've seen it everywhere people talk about it all the time but I don't really know what it is and to be honest with you I'm not I'm not an expert I can't tell you exactly you know I could probably we probably we should google it and take a look at what it says let's let's for the fun of it let's just do a google search on what is mindset I'm going to share my screen here and we're just going to do that and we're going to go to google and say we want to find out what is mindset what does mindset actually mean right so let's just go here share the screen and let's just let's just do a search for mindset let's just do a search for mindset over here and we're just going to enter what is mindset what is mindset right so what is mindset what is mindset and why it matters these these are I have no idea but I'm going to go to Wikipedia I like Wikipedia to see what they say and you know mindset what does it say a mindset may be so firmly established that it creates a powerful incentive within these people or groups to continue to adopt or accept prior behaviors choices or tools so uh what is, does it say anywhere actually what is these are references okay history and politics collective wow that's a lot of stuff mindset agency types of theories fixes or there's wow this is like more than what I wanted to look up right benefits of mindset well-being of mindset global mindset abundance and scarcity. yeah that's definitely one of the ones that and not it's not mindset but it's definitely one of the things you've got to be one ways of thinking or one ways of feeling that, and we're going to get into that in a second but first I want to see what else can I see about what is mindset definition of mindset what is mindset what is yours free management fix versus growth what is mindset okay uh mindset definition let's see what comes up there mindset the established set of attitudes held by someone oh I like that so the established set of attitudes held by someone that's a great I'm actually going to keep this I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make sure that I get that in my in my blog post because I'm doing a blog post here too uh just do a text file here text file notes we're going to put mindset the established set so we're going to put that in here I don't want to lose it let's see where else do we have that here so uh this is is there a website yeah no that's just a dictionary from from uh, Google I guess right um meaning then the Cambridge English dictionary what does it say it says to have a different the same mindset no that's a, a person's way of thinking and their opinions yeah a person's way of thinking and their opinion so your mindset is kind of what controls the way you behave in other words right so um and then you know I'm going to say a mindset is what controls your behaviors 
and actions right so the way you uh, well actually your behaviors actions and feelings really right actions and feelings I'm going to put that like that I'm going to actually put that in my blog post when you uh, look it up so yeah so a mindset is what controls your behaviors actions and feelings so how do you how do you like what's a good mindset and what's a bad mindset right when you're trying to build a business online the one of the most important things is to have the mindset that you believe it's going to work out you believe you're going to accomplish something you believe that you're doing something that's you know going to give you something right I'm going to take that oh look at that sorry about that images should not be there yeah so I mean you have in your mind right in your mind you control what happens around you and and you know I know you might have heard that before you're like well that's that's not true I can't control the weather I can't control this I can't control you know how my wife reacts I can't control I'm going to turn the sound off on this computer here I can't control you know any of those things right I can't control any of those things and and those things are you know they're sure they're out of your control you know the weather is out of your control the what your spouse does is out of your control what your kids do is out of your control all that stuff is out of your control what the internet does is out of your control but what your mindset lets you do is it lets you decide how you're going to react right so and it, and I'm not saying it's easy I'm not saying it's something you can learn from one day to the next but you can learn to have better reactions to things because you know when you think about it if you just if you just sit and think if you react negatively to something it, it's not going to make anything go better it's not going to improve the situation it's not going to it's nobody's going to be happy about it right so if you're like say your kids are doing something and they you know um I don't know they they break a piece of furniture and you get upset at them for breaking that piece of furniture which you know is very natural right it's it's upsetting that's something that you paid for got broke right but the thing is that if you get upset versus if you show caring that you that they might not have done it on purpose or you ask them kind of what happened and you just say you know you shouldn't be doing that versus getting all upset you know and saying oh my god what did you do how how could you make let that happen don't you look at what you're doing and you know whatever right the difference is your energy is gonna go out and it's gonna impact everybody around you based on your reaction right so even though you can't control the weather you can't control how what other people do you can control how you react right now I'm not saying like I said I'm not saying that's easy I'm not saying you can you can change your behavior you can change your reactions from one day to the next but it takes over over the over time over weeks months years even you can improve your way of reacting to things and the only the and the way to do that is just you know think about your reaction before reacting if you can and in the beginning you're not going to be able to you're just going to react but then at least think about your reaction and think to yourself how could I have reacted in a way that might have been better right so anyways that's your reaction to your world around you that you can't control now when we're talking about building a business online your mindset is is also very important because how you well okay let's maybe talk about see how I say it. it's what controls your behaviors actions and feelings most people are like well you can't control your feelings and I'm not saying you can you can choose how you how you feel uh, by reacting a certain way based on what's going on that will affect your feelings it'll affect your feelings it, like say for example you uh, react like I said earlier the example of your kids breaking a piece of furniture you react and you're upset well your feeling is going to be mad your feeling is going to be you know um uh, furious you're not going to be happy you're going to be you're going to be upset right that's your feeling and if you try to if you eventually over time find a way to react better your feelings are going to be better it's just natural progression and that's what I that's what I mean when I say that 
so for your business online let's say you're trying to build a course right you're trying to sell a course and you're talking to people about your course and nobody's coming to your course nobody's looking at it nobody's nobody's even looking at the sales page or the capture page or whatever you have as a as a page to get them to to see more and you can have the reaction or the mindset that it's not working the course is no good people don't like your course people don't like you you can have that mindset of of all this negative energy right about not having the right thing and that's your choice it's your choice to to think that it's your choice to to feel that it's your choice to react to that and that's why when we talk about self um you know when we talk about self-help right or, or or personal development right when we talk about all these these books and all these audios that have been written and and and, and you know read or recorded over the last 50 years even 100 years there's less there's less of course uh, there's more of course in the last 20 or 50 years than there have been in the last thousand years right but I mean that all that all those all those self-help books they all stem from the bible and they stem from from uh plato and you know the the the, the philosophies and all that from you know way way back then that got kind of expanded and over time we realized that there's certain things that that we can improve on by just by just focusing on those things you know how um, I'm sure you've heard before what you focus on becomes or you get more of what you focus on right I mean fo you you'll you get more of what you focus on right so what does that mean that means that whatever you think you focus on whatever you you know if you're thinking about I don't know debts or you're thinking about um uh, uh problems health problems you're thinking about you know things that you don't want because they're happening in your life and it's hard to not think about the stuff you don't want right if you're focusing on that your energy is going to go to that and you know there's some that say there's quantum physics and there's there's the law of attraction and there's the and there's the um all the different you know theories the secret right you've heard about the secret the book the secret I mean all those things uh, talk about how the universe is all connected through energy and through and you know there's there's some that have they say they have proof of it and but in the end I it doesn't matter my point is that if you and you can probably relate to this right if you focus on something if you're upset about something your energy is going to be upset you're going to be feeling upset you're going to be acting upset other people around you are going to feel that upset they're going to they're going to you know probably not be feeling good about the the day and they might not even know why right so if you have uh, kids and a spouse that definitely happens if you're if you're having a bad day it's going to affect everybody around the house right or if they're having a bad day it's going to affect you that's that's what we talk about when we focus on what we don't want we get more of it so the flip side of it must also be true if we focus on the stuff we want that we don't have yet we should get more of that right and that's why there's all these uh these uh, these uh, these uh, these gurus if you will this help self-help um uh you know experts that talk about focusing on what you want right to doing a vision board doing all these different things and and that's the kind of the way that you get into um improving your situation by focusing on the things that you want right so that's why you you create a vision board you create a plan you write up you write up your vision there's all these different things I mean I've I've gone through that I've even created a 12-step um to your success ebook I mean if you if we go to my my blog right if we go to my blog you can see on there I've been creating content all the time right I mean I, I don't know if there's a way to say but I guess I can go to the last page here and we can see that my my oldest number four was from March 22nd 2018 on this site I also have another site I probably should be updating stuff on there but I mean I've been creating content and creating content and I've I've put together this ebook here this 12 steps to your critical 
12 critical steps to your online success you can get that just click on this it takes you to the to the 12 steps uh to your success uh, where you can get the ebook it's basically 12 uh you know if I go show you here click e-course you can actually get the this uh well when you get on that list you get this particular uh course here which is basically just the the videos of it let me just show where is it 12 steps to your online success top 10 12 steps where is it 12 steps am I blind here oh there it is <laughs> so you get this basically you have a, you get access to this it's all it's all uh here there's 12 videos see 17 minutes 28 minutes 19 minutes uh, 29 minutes there's 12 videos for the 12 steps with blog posts as well which I did if I go to my blog you can see if I search for 12 steps right here 12 I don't know let's see 12 steps I don't know if it'll work if it works that way or if it just shows me everything that has 12 in it oh yeah step number one of 12 uh this is definition the 12 step that's another one I did not too long ago these are other ones are not the original ones I guess they're in sorted yeah step two right here uh step two of 12 so they're all in here but they're not I guess I'd have to I have to organize them to find them better maybe I should create a category for it right so that you can just click on the category there and you can go to it but these are the 12 steps and that's in mindset is one of the most important things if you believe that you can accomplish things it'll makes a huge difference from you believing you can't or you focusing on the fact that you're having problems that you're not able to to grow your leads that you're you're having you know things aren't working the way you want to right that's so one of the most important mindset shifts that you need to come to if it is one of the things that you're struggling with is lack mentality versus abundance mentality that's one of the things I find is very prevalent out there in the business world everywhere it's very prevalent people have this lack mentality what is what does lack mentality mean lack mentality means that you believe that there's a finite amount of money for you there's a finite amount of love there's a finite amount of success you know there's just you know a hundred people that can succeed online in your city right that's it there's no more or, or 20 or whatever whatever you think whatever the number is but it's a lack mentality it's a feeling that there's only a certain number and and if you don't you know fall into that list if you will then you're not going to have success right it's not going to work out for you you're not going to get those sales there's there's only a certain number of people out there that can succeed in in home-based businesses right all these <coughs> all these thoughts are lack mentality they're lack mentality in the sense that they that you focus or you think of the 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 fact that there's not enough there's not enough for you right there's 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 too many other people doing things there's there's already somebody doing what you want to do that you know they already have all the customers they already have all the all the fans there there's not enough for you right the abundance mindset is kind of the opposite obviously of that right but abundance mindset is where you think that there's more than enough for everybody there's never going to be a shortage you know there's 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 plenty of money out there for everybody that that you can have as much as you want and it's never going to run out there's there's plenty of people out there looking for what you have that there that you you're not going to run out of people to sell to that you're not you can tell your story to other people and that, yeah that's the other difference abundance versus lack in in when you have a lack mentality you're afraid to tell people about your ideas about your your what you're doing because you're worried that they're going to steal your idea because you know there's only one idea out there there's no that's it there's no there's only one way to do it right and it's the way you're doing it and if you tell people they're going to steal your idea they're going to do it instead of you and then you're going to lose out right that's lack mentality right lack mentality is it's you know it's really not 
great and I'm not saying it's easy to if you have lack mentality if that's your way of thinking and I'm telling you this and you're like well that's just the way world works people are like that people steal things people take things away from others people do that and you know what I'm not going to debate whether that's true or not because yes of course it's true there's people that do that but the point is that when you have abundance mindset you don't focus remember we talked about focusing on what you don't want so you don't focus on those people those people that are bad those people that steal things those people that take over your stuff you focus on the good people because there are good people out there that don't steal your ideas that will instead encourage you that will instead help you to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish because they have abundance mindset and they don't they don't think that they they that that you're going to steal their idea so they're going to help you with yours because they're not going to steal yours they don't need your idea they have their own they have their own stuff and that's the abundance mindset and that's really important you really have to have abundance mindset if you really want to succeed because it's easy because to to feel that there isn't enough out there for you to have the success that you deserve right and this is uh these 12 st these 12 steps to your success are actually pretty you know they're they're I started that it's it's I've been doing my online stuff for for years now for almost five years and th this was just kind of something I started at the beginning of 2020 I just created these 12 steps just like that as a through from my experience we talked about the different steps we talked about the different uh what you have to do to get the success that you deserve uh the ebook uh, that you get when you when you go to that link on my blog like I said on my blog right here just click on the 12 critical steps to your success right here and that'll take you to an ebook uh let's uh, just uh wait for it to load up and then uh, but 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 yeah so I also have another one the top 10 simple online strategies right here right but I mean the 12 steps to your uh, critical the 12 steps to your online success I don't know why it's taking so long to load up but uh, there it is it's coming up okay so this is basically the ebook uh like I said so you go to my blog right here and then you click on that 12 steps here and it takes you to a page where you can enter your name and email and you get this ebook which is basically the ebook that that shows you everything you need to know I'm going to do this again because I want to do a a screenshot so you go to my blog right here and then you click on this image and it'll take you to a page where you register and you get this ebook right here that shows you everything the 12 steps to your critical six the online success right now right you can see right here the 12 steps define your vision define your audience step number three define your avatar step number four define your offer etc right and in here you have basically you know the thoughts my thoughts on it all and what the simple the steps are and as well as the links to the actual videos which is the well actually it's these videos right if I go back to this course right back to course right down there these videos here that are here right so all these you get them unlocked and everything right it's a free course but you just have to unlock it and add it to your library but that's the thing so it's these are the videos that show you all these steps and one of them like I said the mindset I mean you know it, sometimes I've I've had conversations with people who just don't understand how you can have a positive mindset in this big negative world right and the thing is that it's a choice you choose how you feel and think how you react really well actually I guess you choose how you react and that impacts how you feel and that impacts again how you you know uh, how you um, uh, behave right so like I said a mindset is what controls your behaviors actions and feelings and if you get if to you get more of what you focus on those are definite 100 percent truth if you don't believe me practice it for a while and you're going to see a difference right practice how you react right controls your re behaviors actions and feelings mindset is what controls okay let, actually you know what I want to improve that definition a mindset is what controls your behaviors actions and feelings 
through your reactions whoops reactions there you go through your reactions right so based so whatever you however you react to things is going to affect your it's definitely impacting your feelings right your feelings of how you feel about things is definitely going to be impacted by reactions because the way you react to something like say it's raining and right now we we haven't had rain in like two three weeks so we need rain so if it was going to rain we would be like oh this is awesome it's raining yay okay our plants our flowers our grass everything it needs rain that's awesome we'd be happy about it right our reaction would be of happiness we would be you know but if it was raining like every single day after a couple of days or you, you know or a week we'd be like oh my god when are we going to get sun it's raining Ugh, it's so blah right so how does that make you how does that make you feel the reaction makes you feel blah makes you feel like oh I don't have energy I don't want to do things right but oh my god it's raining yay and you know I'm obviously it's hard to react that way when it's raining every day right <laughs> so I'm not saying it's easy to change your reactions but it's the way to a better mindset it's the way to a better it's really the way to a better life I mean I've been listening and reading I guess I've been listening to audiobooks and reading books on self-help personal development I'd say I probably the first couple of books I read was probably in when I was around 20 three 22 or something right I was pretty young uh and still not that young right because I mean really today now because it's been around for so long uh and it's becoming more and more common even teenagers are reading uh you know self-help books now right and one of the things that I know is that over the years I've learned lots of things that I wouldn't have learned if I hadn't done that I, because uh, every one every single book you read every single audio you listen to instills a little bit of something in you right you learn more and more and more and you get better at at understanding your feelings at understanding how you're reacting to things at understanding why your reactions or maybe you know a relationship for example you learn that the other person is doing things not to you know hurt you or upset you or whatever they're doing things because that wouldn't that wouldn't upset them if somebody did that to them right so they might be doing things that you don't like but they're not doing it because to 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 spite you or whatever right they're just doing it because you know they don't care like for me I I don't care that that um well, I I can't even find think of an example but the thing is that that's the thing right whatever is happening in your life is 99 if not a hundred percent caused by your reactions let that sink in it's caused by your reactions your reactions to what's going on in your life affects what's going to go on next <laughs> isn't that that's insane right when you think about it you think about it your reactions impact what's going to happen next and it's it's true in little things but it's also true in overall long-term stuff every time like just think about say you were to improve your reactions by like one percent in a day or even a week I mean obviously you want to do it every day but if it even if it was an improvement of one percent over time that would mean a hundred percent improvement two hundred percent improvement after a while right can't that automatically improve your life of course it can right so anyways that's what mindset is all about you're building a business online you want to have abundance mindset you want to understand that your reactions are what controls how things happen around you your reactions impacts everybody else around you impacts you and just remember that over time you can improve your reactions which will improve your feelings which will improve your actions which will improve your behaviors it's all connected all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.